Just because you have free time on your calendar, that does not mean you're available to people. Hello, Kitty Small, and also I'm going to get take care of the duck and donut. Hi, my beautiful YouTube family, and welcome back to the Sunday Reset Podcast, where we meet every Sunday to prepare for the week ahead. Now, before we get into today's topic, I'm just sending so much love out there to the moms that are struggling keeping up with all the housework and the cooking and the cleaning and the entertaining children this summer. You guys are all superheroes and I feel you, okay? I feel you. But I will say Ava and I are having a lot of fun this summer. Lots of exciting things coming up next month. Can't really talk about them yet. Can't wait to share them with you. Today, we're gonna talk about what it really takes to let go of this life right here that you're living so you can live your dream life because newsflash, you can't have both. You cannot have one hand on your old life and one hand on your new life. It has to be one or the other. Your brain and your subconscious will always choose familiar pain over unfamiliar joy. Let me say that again because I don't think you heard me. Your subconscious and your brain okay, will always choose familiar pain over unfamiliar joy. Now, why does this happen? Your brain, all your brain's job is to just protect you, right? That's why people like me who stayed in toxic situations for so long, my brain kept telling me, but at least you know what he's going to do. At least you know how this is going to end. At least you know how your day is going to go, even if it was going to be a bad day which makes absolutely no sense now that I'm saying it out loud, but that's how our brains work. So when you try something new or you wanna make a big life decision or move somewhere differently or try a new job, your brain is just trying to protect you. It's like, whoa, this is not what we normally do. Why don't we just stick with what we know, okay? You have to seriously fight that urge to not go in the same familiar direction because your new life is going to cost you your old one. I don't know who this is for today, but this message was so strong on my heart. So if this is for you, comment down below. I know a lot of people come to my page and they're like, oh my God, you were so brave and uh, I can't believe you did all that. But this is... <laughs> What you didn't see, okay, because I'm very honest and transparent on this channel, what you didn't see was me crying myself to sleep for months after I got here because I thought I made the biggest mistake of my entire life. That was my subconscious brain telling me, like, how could you? How could you change your daily routine? How could you change where you live? Like, we don't know how this is going to turn out for you and Ava. How irresponsible are you? These are things that my brain was telling me when I left Hawaii. But I have a pretty strong mindset, okay? So I know how to fight against those thoughts, and I knew exactly what they were. So when I packed all of my six suitcases and I got on that plane to go from Hawaii to South Carolina to a place that I'd never lived, okay, I cried like a baby at the airport uncontrollably sobbing because I had no idea how my story was going to end but I did know that the life that I was living wasn't good enough for me and it damn sure wasn't good enough for my baby a little tool that has helped me and still does help me every time I make a big decision is the not this theory okay and just listen to me if I'm working a job say I'm working in a corporate setting right and I'm miserable every day at work, I know that it's not this. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. If I'm in a friendship with somebody, but every time I leave them, if we're out to lunch or dinner, and if I leave them, my energy is drained, I go, not this. This is not the friendship for me. This is a theory that I use with everything in my life. Sometimes you don't know what the correct answer is, but you just know it's not this. Not this life that you're living, not this daily routine, not this weight, not this job, okay? You don't have to have all the answers, but you do know that it's not this. I'm not going to lie, friends. Letting go of everything that you ever knew and loved is very hard to do. This is why most people don't do it, right? This is why most people stay in situations where they shouldn't for a very long time. It's hard for a long time after you make decisions that are in your best interest, but that does not mean that they are the wrong decisions, okay? That's not what that means. It means that it was difficult because you know it might hurt some people, but in the long run, you would have just betrayed yourself and you would have sacrificed your entire life to make other people happy while you were suffering and miserable. So in this next season, the next six months, I want you to be a little bit selfish. Yes, be selfish. I want you to be selfish with your time. Just because you have free time on your calendar, that does not mean you're available to people. Use that time for yourself. I want you to take care of your health. Health is wealth, friend. 
Health helps your mindset. Your mindset helps you be creative. When you can use your creativity more, that's when you really change your life, okay? We wanna keep those wheels turning. We're gonna be selfish. We're gonna take care of our health. We're gonna spend lots of uninterrupted quality time with our children. We're gonna put down social media and pick up a book. We're gonna go for walks in nature every day and reconnect with the earth. Anyway, you guys, just get uncomfortable for the next six months. I'm telling you, living in your comfort zone is what's killing your life. It's why you're waking up every day with anxiety. It's, it's why you're waking up every day with anxiety and depression. You're not doing hard things. You're not making promises to yourself and then doing the hard things. You need to do the hard things. Do the hard things. Do not come on my page with an excuse. You're better than that. I love you more than that, okay? This is me. You guys know I like yelling at you, but in a loving way. But the next six months, I don't want you to play about you. Okay? Disappoint people. The only people I don't want you to disappoint are your children. Everyone else, you can disappoint them. Okay? And by the way, if people are disappointed by you focusing on yourself, those are not the people for you. Get new friends. I just felt like I needed to get this message out there. I love doing this podcast for you guys every Sunday. Thank you so much for all the support on my channel, all the love, all the comments. I mean, just this morning, I got this comment right here about my faceless marketing method course and it's only $89 with code YouTube. I'll link it down below. I'll link it down below, but she said she got more value out of that and it is so beginner friendly and easy to understand and professional and it just made my entire day. If you're ever questioning whether or not to leave a comment or if I will see it, I see all comments. I'm very active in my comments. Obviously, you see every video. I try to reply to everybody. Please always leave it. It just, it makes my day so much better, but I'm gonna bring on a special guest right now, okay? It's someone you guys have been missing. Okay, so <clears throat> why I got this new kit? I got this new kitten last weekend. It was super cute when when he crawled on me and I couldn't resist it. Hug, hug. <laughs> I've been up to when on my mom when my mom's birthday arrives. I am going to give her a Hello Kitty ball and also I'm gonna get. Take her the duck and donut. Also, I'm taking her to the city when actually I'm going to take her to the zoo to see her favorite favorite animal, a giraffe, because they're yellow. You love giraffes? Yes, I do. Because they're yellow. Yes, I do. I'm going to take mom to this really, really cool zoo that um <clears throat> i've been planning for all weekend i wonder if my mom will let me have a youtube channel mm, we'll see so my birthday is next month and i'm gonna be 34 and ava has been planning um a birthday surprise or 17 of them for me <laughs> all right guys you know the drill i love you so much and i will see you in the next one <laughs>